What is up guys, this is Max Square, and today I have a special video for you all. I have partnered up with Francesco from the Keep Productive YouTube channel to collaborate with him, and we've each made a video for each other's channel, so you can be sure to check out my video on his, but this video is gonna be focused on all of his great tips for staying productive. But just before I hand it over to him, be sure to check out his YouTube channel. All the links will be in the description. He has a ton of awesome videos that really do help you stay productive in a really practical way. He doesn't just make a video and list 10 apps that could potentially help you. He really gets into the details of how this can really apply to your life every day and how you can restructure your daily habits to stay more productive. He's really consistent about uploading multiple times in a week, so you will always have new content from him pretty much every day when you open up your subscriptions, and I would definitely encourage you guys to check him out. So without further ado, enjoy this video from Francesco. Hello everyone from the Max Square community. Uh, my name is Francesco and Luke has invited me here on the Max Square YouTube channel to talk all about some productivity apps that you can use on Mac. Now the benefit to all of these apps is they are really useful for all different situations, work, studying, or personal projects. You can use them in all different types of contexts. So hopefully these ones will be great. We'll be demoing them as well. Now, just before we start, I want to thank Luke for having me here on the Maxware community. It's amazing to be here. I'm over on YouTube too. I create productivity app reviews on the likes of Mac, iOS, Android, and Windows as well. I sort of cover the whole remit there. So feel free to follow me over on YouTube and make sure to like and follow uh, this YouTube channel here if you're not already. So let's dive into those best productivity apps for Mac. Let's start with number one. Number one is an application called Notion. Now I discovered this one a few months ago now and I was pretty impressed by the resource. Now it's available on web and just available on iOS too. Uh, it's also got the Mac app natively, but the application itself allows you to do some pretty cool things. It's sort of like blending Dropbox with Trello and Google Docs. You can create documents, you can create wiki pages, you can create your own calendars, all sorts. The application is very flexible and useful for creating your own setup. It could be your own editorial calendar or it could be organizing your own study planner. This application is very useful on Mac. So the second one is called Bear. This is an application available on iOS and Mac. It's actually coming to web very soon. Uh, that allows you to basically take notes across your day. It's basically like a condensed version of Evernote, but it provides you with a way to start organizing and writing down some of your ideas, thoughts, or even could be scripts, or even homework, things like that. Whatever it is, it helps you to take down notes across your day. The application is very flexible, there's lots of different themes, there's markdown abilities, and there's loads of customization inside of there. And the cool thing as well is you can organize all of your notes by hashtags so that you can keep an eye on, keep organizing on all of your projects. The third application is Trello. Trello is now available on Mac, which is amazing. For those who don't know, Trello is a project management tool used by over 10 million people. It's very popular inside of the startup space, professional and even people creating their own content. I use it myself to manage my own editorial calendar and I know lots of people who do. Trello is really fun to get on with and it's a great way to start planning tasks, activities and events, all sorts of things with all of the amazing functionality inside of that. You can create things like checklists, you can assign things, you can give due dates to things, you can even set up power-ups like calendar and connect to your other favorite applications. So Trello is definitely worth exploring over on Mac. Next one is called Teamwork. Now this is a pretty cool application. It's basically allowing you to start a timer during your day, set some tasks up, up in the top menu bar, and it allows you to track that uh, timer and how long you've spent on a specific task. Even set Pomodoro timers, which is a technique that I'll explain nearer the end, and basically get yourself organized across your workday. Setting these tasks and actually having times to them make them more actionable and more definable as well. So it's a really cool little dashboard up in the top right hand corner. It's got awesome customization and what's cool is there an awesome iconography to it as well. So you'll get a lovely little lumberjack guy in the bottom corner. Number five is Lifecraft. This is a journal style application which allows you to track all aspects of your life. Now it's quite a cool application on Mac mainly because it allows you to keep that tracking experience uh, on the dashboard and actually keep 
all of your stuff locally stored, as well as you can back up to iCloud, but it allows you to document your life in a really creative style. Now these applications are becoming more popular with likes of Day One uh, available on Mac as well, but it does provide you a hub to basically keep an eye on everything that you're doing in your day and bring to that to life in a creative manner. And my final one is called Be Focused Pro. Now this is an application, I believe the application has a $4.99 paywall, but it's definitely worth it. If you're into Pomodoro timers, which is a timer that lasts 25 minutes and five minutes off as a break, a really good study technique, this will be great for you. This is a really friendly application for Mac and will allow you to get things done across your day. I highly recommend it and I'm gonna be including all of these in the description below. Anyway guys, those were the six Mac applications for productivity. I hope they were useful. Uh, I really appreciate Luke for having me here on the Mac Square channel. Uh, it's amazing to be talking to you guys. So feel free to follow us both over on YouTube in the description below, there'll be everything there. And I'll also be in the comments if you have any questions or queries about alternative applications, about whether I'd recommend any other productivity apps too, and I'll regularly check that. Anyway guys, thank you very much to Luke for inviting me here on the channel. Uh, I'm looking forward to his video, which will be available on my channel very soon, all about productivity apps on Mac. So if you wanna hear what Luke recommends, feel free to jump over to mine. Anyway guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure to have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers. So guys, that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. A huge thank you to Francesco for not only making that video, but also putting this whole collaboration together. Thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.